Hi guys, welcome to another Flight Deck 2 Sim tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to calculate your final approach speed. That's the speed you fly after selecting the landing flap on final approach. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because I've seen some quite interesting approaches flown online on YouTube where people are flying at the complete inappropriate airspeed or the wrong airspeed, so it's uh, something I thought I'd quite like to, uh, to clear up with those who are interested. So. What I'm going to do now uh, is bring up the FMC. So we're currently holding at this waypoint called Muros near Palma de Mallorca in the Mediterranean Sea. We're just going to fly an ILS approach. Well, I'm going to fly an ILS approach afterwards. And uh, what I need to do, if uh, whenever in flight, if you select init ref, what that does, it brings up the approach reference page. Now, to work out what final approach speed we need to fly at, we need to work out first our landing weight. So I reckon I'm going to burn about 300 kilos of fuel before landing. So what I'm going to do is subtract 300 kilos from 62.8, which is 62.5, and that's going to be approximately my landing weight. Now what I need to do now is select my landing flap. So you can see there we have flap 15. Now we'd use flap 15 in non-normal situations, such as if we had an engine failure. Flap 30 is the kind of default flap setting, and flap 40 we'd use if we wanted to fly an auto land or we're landing on a very short runway. So what I'm going to do is select flap 30 today which gives us a VREF of 145 knots. Now this speed of 145 knots or VREF uh, is the minimum approach speed. That's the slowest speed you can fly on final approach when after selecting landing flap 30. And this speed of 145 knots is 1.3 times your stall speed for the current flap uh, configuration. Okay, so for flap 30, uh, 1.3 times the stall speed is 145 knots. Now what we need to do uh, with that speed is apply a correction to work out what our target airspeed is going to be on final approach. Now the minimum uh, target airspeed correction is plus 5 knots and you can see here in the FMC we have this plus 5 knots box so all I'm going to do is line select key that and this is information only uh, once you're on final approach so the minimum speed we're going to fly on this this approach is 150 knots. Now this is because our target speed we fly on final is uh, between VREF plus 5 and VREF plus 20 uh, and the final approach speed we fly is the half uh, the reported steady headwind component. So I'm using live weather today, the current surface wind down in Palmer is pretty much straight down the runway, it's 240 at 14 knots. So if we take 240 at 14 knots, that steady headwind component at 14 knots, we'll halve it which is 7 and what I'll do, I'll change the wind correction value to 7 knots and our final approach speed on, in this case would be 152 knots and that's exactly what 737 pilots would be using today if they were landing at 62.5 uh, tonnes they'd be uh, flying at a target airspeed of 152 knots in this case. So that's all you have to do, you have to work out your steady headwind component, halve it and then add that onto your VREF and that's the final approach speed you fly on final approach. So what I'm just going to do now is bring up a table from the flight crew training manual which gives you some examples. Now this is based on a generic runway, runway 36. And you can see there right at the top there, 360 is 16 knots, so half of that is at 8, so the approach speed would be VREF plus 8. If the wind is calm, we apply the minimum correction of plus 5 knots. Uh, you can see there, in gusty wind conditions, what you need to do is take the full gust amount, so you take half your steady wind component, so 360 at 20 would be 10 plus 10 knots for the gust increment. So you'd actually apply VREF, you'd fly that approach at VREF plus 20, which is your maximum approach speed. You can see there also at the bottom two, uh, 120 at 10 and 135 at 10, they're both tailwinds. So if you've got any tailwind component on final approach, you fly that minimum approach speed of VREF plus five knots. So I flew this approach earlier, and uh, what I'm gonna do now, if I just get rid of the FMC, is bring up some screenshots I took. Uh, so you can see here on your first screenshot, uh, this was with calm winds down in Palma de Mallorca. So you can see I flew or set my target airspeed to VREF plus 5 knots. Now in the next screenshot, I was just uh, playing around in flight sim and I had a headwind component in Palma de Mallorca of 30 knots. So the headwind was 240 at 30 knots. Now half of that is 15 and you can see there I've got my target airspeed set to uh, VREF plus 15. But I'm a little bit slow but I'm above the VREF speed which is the important thing. Now, you can also see in this screenshot, just above my target airspeed, that magenta bug is a white bug. That white bug is always on final approach VREF plus 20, because that is the limit of that approach. And if at 500 feet in VMC conditions, which is the top of that amber band on the altimeter on the PFD, if our airspeed is less than VREF, 
or more than VRF plus 20, we must fly a missed approach. We have to fly and go around, okay? And that, guys, is pretty much it. Anyway, that's the end of the uh, how to calculate your approach speed tutorial. I hope you found that interesting and learned something new. As always, if you have any questions about the tutorial, please feel free to leave that in the comments section. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video. Take care, fly safe, and I'll see you again very soon.